Salt Lake City, Utah, near the Great Salt Lake. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Utah has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's taken down at the 27. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Complete. He's got room. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. He picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. Caught with room to work. Burke comes away with around seven yards on that catch, and that'll also give him a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Decent run up the gut. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 45 yard line. And down he goes at about the 43 yard line. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. The Utes right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force the play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled around the 16-yard line. That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. at the 19. First and 10. Ball on their own 19. Throw 
throws to the receiver, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. They'll bring him down right around the 16-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. the stop around the 25 yard line it was a well designed and executed pattern but on third down and forever it just wasn't enough he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They hand it off. Nice gain as he works the right side. Five wide. Little screen pass. And he's taken down at the 42. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. it out to about the 41 yard line third down and they need to get it down to the 32 they'll line up with five wide receivers got a receiver and he dropped it Excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Let's go! Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. And they'll get him in the backfield. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Stop short of the line of scrimmage. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. From their own 26 yard line, third down. Mike 
Here comes the pressure. Rifles it left. And he's immediately tackled. been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up? Though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I got a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From their own 25-yard line, second down. to about the 27-yard line. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. And this one is a beauty. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's at the 40. To the 20. And he's brought down at the six-yard line. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. We might see another run here as it's first and goal. He's hit immediately. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Let's go. Green 95. Swings it out left to the halfback. Brought down at the seven-yard line. Wilson brings him down at the seven-yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. This one should be makeable. Utah could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Utes are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. They hand it off. They'll drop in for a loss.
from their own 22-yard line. Second down. run there. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. So the defense does their job well on that series. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 18-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Utah is up by three. And he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 3-0, Utah. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. it to the 31. From their own 31-yard line. First down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. their own 48-yard line. First down. Five yards there for the quarterback. six-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Utah is up a field goal. There's a very impressive open field tackle. it to the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. Fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Dips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Fired it out 
to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he converts the extra point. So a nine-play, 82-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good That brings them second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 30. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. Awaiting the return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And down he goes around the 45 yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 45 yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 49. Pressure coming. And a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 47-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here we go. Green nine. Caught with room to work. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. it intercepted it's the junior corner Brad this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined here they are down by a couple scores and the defense comes up with a big interception showing that character that their coaches wanted to see from their own 20 yard line it's first down He's tackled right away. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle at the 46-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Head 
heading for the corner. He's at the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34. First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. He makes his way to about the 22. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes it first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Florida! That's a great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Utes right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him, in my opinion. They've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Utah has a three-point lead. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. run and he's brought down got some open field runs outside for a nice game from the 48 yard line first down Taken down around the 34-yard line. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Let's go. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at the 11. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown! And 
And he adds the extra point. Necker has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That makes it third and seven. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition throwing that same pass over and over and he'll be fine. Jackson back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 30. Utah's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's at midfield. Brought down right around the 34. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. The Utes use their second timeout. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle made right around the 16-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires quickly, touchdown! Give him one more touchdown pass, his third of the half. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 69-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that deep. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They get nice yardage on that run. Florida is going to take their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Going deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. 24-7, Utah. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation.
that excited. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. The guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I, you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field. But the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds, but it works the other way around too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, I can't get there in time. So the, t the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. A little handoff. Room around the corner. He makes his way to about the 38. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 45. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. tackle there because this kid had some space and they couldn't have asked for a better time for the turnover right Herbie well I'm sure they could have used a couple of these earlier in the game but better late than never there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. Five wide. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. 
They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. With the pass incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Quick strike to the receiver, and down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. his way to about the 48. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. five-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. down marker. And he throws it away. And he's tackled right around the six-yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's knocked out of bounds at the four. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. And they'll get him in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed them. 
It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. He's under some heat, and he hits him hard at the 12. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. And it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. Utah's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. First down. From their own 36-yard line. First down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's taken down at the 33. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Jackson is back to receive. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Got it to his man on the screen. And the screen pass goes nowhere. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Right there. Gets to about the forty one yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. Nice gain as he works the right side. That brings 
It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 46. They'll knock him down for a loss. set up a screen for the wide receiver. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Brought down at the 18. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 18. Ready! Wide 80! Wide 80! Check, check! Hammerhead! Get to that quickly. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Utes lead 27-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Passes and it's almost picked off. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He's taken down at the 37. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number three with the tackle. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He gets rid of this one. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And down he goes at about the 45. Tosses left, intercepted. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 41-yard line, first down. They 
bring him down in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Two yards shy of the sticks. Had his hands on it and dropped it. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Tackle at the 45. That's good for a in 12 yards. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, second down. Quick throw. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. down and 11 yards to the sticks ball on the 18 completes it and he's hit hard immediately Makes it out to about the seven. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Nearly intercepted. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Touchdown, Gators!
A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. He's to the 40. Fantastic return. Boy, is he explosive. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very comfortable. Touchdown, Florida! Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, with the lead and the ball here in the fourth quarter, it's important that the offense kind of maintain their edge that they played with throughout the ball game. You can't get too conservative. You can't worry about turning the ball over. Just block all that out, execute the way you have up to this point, and they should be able to get out of here with a win. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Utah is up a field goal. And he's tackled right around the 30. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. And they'll run him again. And he is drilled at the 29. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. 
and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Florida has still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made out of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He throws a dart to the right. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And he's taken down at the 17-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. First down. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike three. Mike three. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Just over a minute left. He's in! Touchdown! And they take the lead. We have less than a minute to go. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Utah's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. There's a strike complete. Utah is going to use their first time out of the half here. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Going long. And it's caught. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. And for Pittman, he brings his receiving yardage to 100. I think the quarterback and this receiver right now are clearly in the zone. The defense needs to do a better job of adjusting their defense to be able to slow him down. He now has over 100 yards receiving in this game. It's intercepted, and that should do it. 
Utah's quarterback, you know, typically doesn't make a mistake in that situation. Well, sometimes you, you take a chance, and sometimes you become the hero, and sometimes you become the GOAT. This time, it, it didn't work out for him. He'll be able to learn from this and move forward. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the seven. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. The Utes using their third and last timeout. Florida is up four, under a minute left. He fights forward to about the 10. Two-yard carry by the fullback. So that's going to do it. The Gators come out on top, 31-27. So that does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.